I like fun. Okay, because it's a nursery. What if we named our kid fun? I mean, I just feel like he'd be like teased so much though. Tortured. Hey, fun. Oh, hey, your name's fun. Why are you in a bad mood, fun? It's true. He shouldn't be in a bad mood. <laughs> Can't wait to decorate. There's so much we can make. How will it turn out? OMG, we're having a baby? Push, push. Yeah. Hey everyone. I hope you guys all had a good holiday season, by the way. Happy New Year. Yeah, oh my gosh. Is this our first video after New Year? Yeah. Happy New Year! Woo! What are your guys' New Year's resolutions? We want Tell to know. Tell us in the comments. I feel like my New Year's resolution is just simply have a healthy baby. Well, of course that's my New Year's resolution, but my new other New Year's resolution is to eat every type of pizza topping that exists. Oh. The world just got brighter as you said that. <laughs> if you guys know any weird pizza toppings, put them in the comments below. That is quite a resolution. Okay. All right, guys. So today's video, we are doing the nursery design. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. So obviously you guys have been like, what's going to be the nursery design? And we were both like unsure of it. And because we want to bring you along on this whole process, sketching, the mood boarding, the vibe trays, like the whole inspiration part of it because obviously this room is going to be very very important to us we're also visiting with the one and only fairy god sister james charles today <laughs> getting um, getting our mr sister god sisters advice on raising a child and we got a great creative weirdo spotlight today because today's episode is sponsored by wix yep and we're featuring a mother who has her own business so we just wanted to keep it very in line with what we're doing with this whole series. Okay, so real quick, before we get into the nursery design and all that stuff, let's just quickly bring you up to speed. Yeah, let's catch you guys up. Okay. We're shooting this before the holidays. Yeah, so it's before the holidays. I'm currently, should I stand up and show you guys? Oh, we can hide by my belly. This is 16 weeks. So actually it's so crazy because 14 and 15 weeks, my belly wasn't that big and then I hit 16 weeks and it's like, Hello, there's no hiding it. It's really exciting because we always put up our stockings. My mom has this tradition where she makes all the kids stockings. This is my stocking, which I'm gonna try not look in it yet because it, it technically hasn't been Christmas we yet. It can't so open until Christmas. I don't want to open it, but so my mom made this when I was a little kid. And once me and Kate <laughs> became a, a fish. Yeah, when I made, was officially the girlfriend. made Kate this one. With Look the, how cute the mustaches. The mustaches when we like, used to use the mustaches as part of our logo. And so then my mom made this one. She just made it how Which cute. is for the baby. But uh, obviously we haven't thought of a name yet, so there's no name. Yeah. It just says I Heart Snow. <laughs> so there's gonna be three stockings on the chimney this year. How cute is that? So cute on the chimney, on the man. Whatever, yeah, great. <laughs> Another update is we have been calling our little guy Little Flip. That is not his name, but ever since before we even knew the gender, when we first saw the, the first ultrasound, heartbeat, yeah, which was like at like eight, no, six, six weeks. weeks, it was like a little like flipper, and we were just so excited to see it because we were like, oh my gosh, there's something alive in there and working, and so we've just been calling. It little flip, and then when we found out the gender, we're calling him little flip. Oh. It's either Mr. Baby or little flip, whatever you want to call him. We will, we still have to come up with a name, which maybe we'll do a name reveal. Would that be fun once we decide? I don't know. One more thing to catch you guys up on, which I just thought was really fun and cute, is yesterday we went to brunch at a cafe and we were walking by this thrift store and we went in, and it was this thrift store that had all this like army navy surplus stuff but like from the 60s and earlier right mm -hmm. and joey got this cool like this undershirt is, shirt this is an m50 from the 1950s it was issued in the 40s actually he told me 1947 yeah. but it's a military shirt undershirt but then while joey was picking this out this was hanging right next to it it's the baby version <laughs> so this was just like a big deal because this is the very first 
article of baby clothes we bought. And it's from the 50s, complete with rust stains. Yeah, <laughs> there's some, some vintage stains. It's very yeah. authentic. Some baby actually wore this in the 50s. Yeah, so like cool. how cute. Like, and so, oh my gosh, daddy and baby are gonna be matching their cute little vintage 50s shirt. Guys, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Uh, make sure and turn on the notifications, hit that bell, and also go ahead and preemptively thumbs it up. Why not? Yeah. I really hope that you guys like this nursery design, so hopefully you'll give it a thumbs up for the nursery design anyways. All right, so we're gonna get a nursery design. First though, let's get into the Creative Weirdo Spotlight for today. So for today's Creative Weirdo Spotlight, we are featuring Mickey Adekolu. Mickey is a mother and entrepreneur who's turning her hobby of cooking tasty sweets into a gourmet cotton candy brand adorably titled Frey Puff. We are creating a gorgeous new website and online store for Mickey using Wix.com to bring her brand to the masses. We can highlight Mickey's chic packaging and delicious creative flavors by dragging and dropping images anywhere we want. One of the biggest milestones is opening your store to the public and with Wix, it's simple. You literally click, drag, done. Wix is perfect for an entrepreneur like Mickey because she can get a professional site up and running in no time. And I mean, look at that. Looks so super pro and appetizing. Okay, now who wants some gourmet handcrafted cotton candy? Me, craving, hello. Head over to FreyPuff.com to support Mickey. And if you guys need a way to get your creative ideas out there, make sure and check out Wix.com. You can literally build any online presence you can dream of. Make sure and submit yourself for our Creative Weirdo Spotlight by tweeting us at MrKate.com spelled out and using hashtag Creative Weirdo Spotlight. You'll be the next Creative Weirdo we'll feature. That website turned out so cute. So make sure you go visit it. Support her, so exciting. Make sure and submit your creative projects, your entrepreneurial projects, your businesses, your whatevers to the Creative yeah. Spotlight. Hashtag Creative Weirdo Spotlight. Nursery design. Nursery design. Okay, so the way we're gonna do this is we're just gonna show you guys like everything. We're gonna show you guys the state of the room right now because you guys know we live in a two bedroom house so obviously the second bedroom is gonna become the baby's room. So. Let's check out the room, how it is currently, and then we'll get into the design. Okay, so this is our guest room. We never finished in here, we were always changing things up. I set up this vanity a little under a year ago as my vanity slash desk. So I've got like my art supplies, like my makeup and stuff over there. But other than that, like. Oh my gosh. We never use this room. Oh my gosh, it's so big. I have so much cat hair on my hands. Um, so the. <laughs> you gonna be excited. So this but is so, but room. we're gonna try to keep some sort of guest bedroom this to this room. So that's the challenge. Like we could do like a Murphy bed, but I because of the design that I thought up, I don't think a Murphy bed's gonna work. I also I feel like a Murphy bed's scary. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like latch, yeah. not a kid squishing Murphy bed. No, so I think we're gonna have to do the pull out couch situation, pull out sofa, but we'll find like the comfiest one possible. Plus we have that big feather bed in this closet. So oh, like when people closet. come over, we'll pull that's it out another, we'll put the feather bed. That's another huge project for this room is this closet. Yeah. It is currently the crap collector. This is whenever we get stuff, we just shove but, it in here. But the reason why this is such a, a suitcase crap cat, collector cat carry bags is because the way this house was designed when oh, they Oh, there's litter, cat litter. When they upgraded the central AC cuz this house is from the 20s, they put all of the air returns in this closet. So that's why yes. this closet is so hard to use. The so The floor space is so eaten up by like, these This is a newer shoes. return. Don't touch my specialty bras and panties. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it says? <laughs> my mom labeled all of these boxes like 10 years ago and I've never relabeled them. Wait, are you really cleaning all this closet right now? We haven't even discussed the design yet. Ooh, <laughs> very special. That's a scarf. Why is there a scarf in there? Okay, all right. Well, Joey, I can't handle all this. I haven't even presented you the design yet, and now you're already taking stuff out of the closet. This is a big project. I want to get rid of all of that. I know. AC I want to. Okay. Well, okay. You examine. I'm gonna set up for our design presentation. Okay. Oh, you're giving me a design presentation. Yeah. Here, while you're at it. No. Don't can me any crap. Take a candelabra, would you? Oh yeah, this is for the Victorian lady. She's been missing this. Victorian lady, I found your candelabra. 
All right, so I've got a whole array of things here because I'm going to build a vibe tray. I love doing this as just like an extra step whenever I'm designing, especially if it's a design that I'm trying to present to someone before like it actually takes place. I don't always do this, but it is just like a really fun extra step to kind of have fabric samples and paint chips and like textural items and just things that like really create the feeling of the room because sometimes you can't get that from just like a computer image or a sketch in a sketchbook. So I hope he likes it. Let's set up the vibe tray. Double beautiful. Just uh, if you want a picnic. Hello, sir. I hear you're gonna be a new dad. Is this your uh, offering to the gods? Oh my gosh. Yes. Pure gold and copper. I think let me first show you the floor plan so we can be on the same page about like where things are going in the room, right? Okay. So this is what I'm thinking here, like, mm. right? The crib goes along that far wall in between. Where the vanity currently is. Exactly. Normally we don't like to do wallitis, you know, wall hugging disease where like everything's along the wall, except I think a nursery is a place where you do want to do it. Where you want like play area. Yeah, you want the center floor area to like set up. We'll put a play mat down, you know, just- We gotta get a play mat. We gotta get, we're gonna get a play mat. We could make a play mat. And then of course the obligatory like rocking chair glider in the oh. corner. I think we do the dresser slash changing table on this wall. So the couch will be where like the bed is now. The dresser will be where that bench is. And then the chair is actually gonna be where that chair is in there, but we'll just get a different one that rocks and glides. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna pull up the shopping board. Ooh. I want it to still go with the rest of the house. Is like, this a real crib? Or is that like some thing from like the no, 1800s isn't that, cool? that you found? Still doing research about the safety, but people have them. Okay. We wouldn't be the first person to have this. Obviously this will only last him like a certain age, cause then we'll probably want to get like a full on crib or like a toddler bed thing. Right. But keeping the colors like neutral, like the rest of our house, but bringing in a little bit of like forest green, like emerald green, and a little bit of like a rust color, like sort of natural, still natural tones though. These are like the practical pieces yep. that are gonna highlight the fun. Get ready for the fun. Okay, so we decided like we were totally on board with whimsy and fun, but like enchantment a little bit, right? Yeah, Okay. I love that idea. So that room is weird, right? The doors are in weird places. The windows are in weird places. So I think if we bring in the architectural element of the wainscoting, mm -hmm. it will be really more pulled together looking. Also, we can paint it a semi-gloss. Mm -hmm. So it'll be super easy to clean. Cause like As babies- baby, like throwing poop around the walls? Probably poop, barf, whatever but then look above the wainscoting we do it's like it's a, a window yeah. it's like this is a ledge at a public park oh that's so cute <laughs> and then once in a while a little animal makes an appearance mm. and how fun because i i love the idea of like interactive rooms for kids because it just makes it that much more magical so like actually put like a little faux fur like on like the squirrel's tail. Like, so it's like a tactile be... wall. Exactly. I and love so we that can idea. pick him up and give him like a little tour of it, but it's not down low so that it'll get ravaged. I'll take care of the wainscoting and you're gonna have to take care of that stuff because. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. Like, literally, this is a half and half room of us. Right. <laughs> like, you're gonna build the bottom up and I'll paint the top down. Oh, that's cute. That's so cute. Like, equal. Mines. 
Yeah. Okay, so then another thing that I want to do, because I love the idea of modular rooms, he's going to be going through different phases. Like he'll be baby, then like standing, then playing, whatever. So within the wainscoting panels, I want to do these hooks on some of them so that we can hang things to build. So like sensory boards are a big thing right. for kids. Like as they start to develop like motor skills, like touching different textures or like you use like dials and locks and ropey like things and little mirrors and stuff like non-breakable, you know, like the plastic mirrors. Right. But like build it on just like a panel that we then just like hang within one of the molding panels. He gets to use it while he's in that stage and then we can change it out for something else. So like I also have this idea to do like hinged clear hanging frames to display kid art. Like you know how they're always like scribbling and they make their little like scribble drawings and stuff. We can put it within like acrylic, you know, so it's not breakable. Sandwich it in, clasp it, and then hang it on the hooks. You like it? I love it. Wait, so. Yay! Okay, so here's the whole vibe. So with that in mind, this is gonna be a very gender neutral nursery. It's just gonna be like a magical. And so these are like the color vibes you're thinking. Ooh. Ooh. This isn't an interact. This isn't a. <laughs> this isn't an interact. <laughs> you can pet. What kind of, what kind of can, tactile you design can is pet. this? You can pet, but well, you can't move it. This, these colors. <laughs> Those colors, right? So like the forest greens, the neutral light gray cream colors, right? Mm -hmm. You know Silver, what's perfect gold, too? Copper. Guys, this is perfect. We have a thing where I sing a song. I told you, that, that's what the massage lady told us to do. Oh, we take our instructions from the massage lady. She's a prenatal masseuse. Well, she said that- Massage therapist. She said that I should be singing a song. Wait, we can't leave out <laughs> the important part. While giving me a scalp massage or a foot massage to release positive serotonin, like feel good hormones in me, you also sing a song to him because he can hear. The song we decided on is Pure Imagination. Come with me and we'll be in a world of pure imagination. I love that song. I love just like the whole vibe of magic and imagination, but also nature because I feel like nature is such a magical place, especially as a kid. Like I don't want him to be like a screen kid. I want to go out and like be in nature a lot. Yeah. Possible. Yeah. Because <laughs> we live in the middle of LA, so. I love it. Yay! Okay, so that is the plan. So now we just have to actually make it happen. Love you. You guys, I'm so excited about that nursery design. Are you? I really want you to be so on board. I'm so on board. When I was thinking like, what what do I want in the nursery design? I was like thinking, well, I wonder what Kate's gonna want. Like I wanted like a Disney ride, like you go in it and you're like all of a sudden in like a magical world. Yeah. I'm so excited to hand paint the mural. Like I'm definitely gonna take my time with it since it's in our house. Like I don't have to like rush to get it done in someone else's house. Like I'm gonna take my time and sketch it out with pencil and then go over it with obviously like acrylic paint and everything, but just take my time, like not stress about it, like make it a fun project. So we have a lot to do, obviously. So much work to do, and of course we'll take you guys along with the whole process. Also, we're shooting an epic OMG We're Coming Over collab with none other than James Charles. <gasps> oh my gosh, like one of my favorite YouTubers ever, one of my favorite people, he's just, so incredibly inspiring and also one of the sweetest sisters ever. So we were over at his house doing the first part of our design work with him because we're also helping him redecorate the rest of his house or finish the rest of his house and then we're gonna surprise him with his piano room slash like formal living room on our channel, so. And because he's an old man with so many kids, he had to get his <laughs> sage wisdom. No, because he was just recently a kid because he's only 19 <laughs> years old, we're getting his advice. OMG, we had a baby. He's already real grown up. <laughs> he's very successful. <laughs> we're at James's house because we're doing a collab with him, uh, interior design stuff. OMG, we're coming over and we're doing this crazy thing on his channel. We're just talking about how we're having a baby. We wanted to get his advice because he's just a smart, very in tune person. So we yeah. just want to get his quick advice. I think you should let him experiment, do whatever he wants as a kid. Gender norms like from society and it's like oh, what is like 
implemented on kids. Yeah. So I think you should raise the child with nothing and see like what he wants, like whatever he is gravitate or whatever yeah. he gravitates towards. Take him to the toy aisle and be like, whatever. And let want. him run wherever. Yeah. yeah. If he wants to the Barbies, great. If he runs to the dump trucks, amazing. Totally. Like let him do whatever. Or if he runs to both. Even more fun, hello, like double the playtime. <laughs> maybe take him to the makeup aisle. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, I can help him out. So I think like acceptance is a huge thing, but I have yeah. no doubt in my head that you guys be very, very accepting parents already. Oh. So I feel like the best piece of advice that I could give, aside from that, would be regarding like discipline, because for me, I was a very, very strong-willed child. Yeah. Very, I gave my mom, and it was Were a brat. Right? Yes, <laughs> an absolute brat, but I feel like that's a good, that can be a good thing. It's a good treat. I mean, it's made you very strong willed now. Yes. So and you she, don't want to like dull that. Exactly. I think the best thing is like raise your child, like letting them do what they want to do, but like with, like within restrictions as long as like they're safe. Mm -hmm. I think it's like the best way to put it. Like, I feel like a lot of parents are very like hesitant and are very overprotective, which is amazing. Because of course it's your baby and you want to be there, but yeah. at the same time, Children have to make mistakes, they have to grow, they have learn, to learn. Yes, and yes. a lot of times, if you're strong willed like I am, you have to make the mistake yourself. Right. To learn from it. Yeah. I feel like you guys work so hard and it shows and your creativity is amazing. So I have no doubt that Mr. Baby is going to be a very, very open-minded, creative, and smart individual. And I think you guys are gonna do such an amazing job at raising him, I can already tell. Um, and I may be available to babysit. I'm not promising <laughs> <Maybe>. anything. Yeah, <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I will keep him safe, play with some makeup if he wants to. <laughs> uh, but I'm so happy for you, and I'll be there every step of the way. And congratulations. <laughs> Yes, you guys are. Of course, you guys. I'm so happy. I feel like Godfather, you know, Liza's already decided she wants to be the godmother. You want to be the godfather? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> we need a YouTube godmother and godfather. It's me. Do you know what you're going to name him yet? No. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any suggestions? We're mm -hmm. teens. James Charles. Probably Ooh. Right. After his godfather. Sister. Sister. <laughs> that would be very unfair. Okay, so that advice is beautiful advice. Lovely, amazing, very useful. I love that he compared it to himself as being like a strong-willed kid, that if our kid is strong-willed, like let them do their thing. I just think it's hilarious that <laughs> this kid's godmother is Liza Koshy and, and godfather, godfather slash godsister. I think we give him godsister, god James Charles, so we'll figure out who the godfather's gonna be. Yeah. How did we find out that Liza Koshy was gonna be the godmother? She told us. Yeah, she just said it. <laughs> she was <beside herself. laughs> She Liza sent us a message of her crying watching our I know. gender Do I reveal. Have my phone here? So this is Liza watching our gender reveal video and she recorded herself her live reaction to it. Oh my god! My god, that's right. Oh my god, you're like a boy. I have to show you my real life reaction because I want my god son to see this. Congratulations you guys Oh my god, so she's so cute. I love her so much. So, godmother Liza Koshy, god sister James Charles. Wow, what a what a journey it's been so far and we're only 16 weeks in? 16 and a half weeks in? Yeah, by the time you guys are watching this, we'll already be like, what, 18 weeks by the time you're watching this? Yeah. So crazy, I'm on my back. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go rub Kate's back. So guys, thumbs up for Mr. Baby. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We got a lot of fun stuff coming. Yep, make sure you follow us both on social media. We've been sharing pictures and stories and stuff along this whole journey. And also let us know in the comments about this series, what you guys wanna see more of, what you guys wanna be a part of, all of that. We'd love to hear from you because obviously we're just kind of doing this as we're going along. So that'll be really helpful. And obviously we have our own GWAC with James Charles coming up soon and we have lots of other fun videos. A new just, design yeah. versus design episode. Yes, design versus design we're bringing back. Finally, we're so excited about, you know, our competition show. We've got two creative weirdos competing in a white room challenge. So lots of fun stuff going on. Baby's, Baby's getting bigger. Getting bigger. And I am too. <laughs> Guys, huge thanks to Wix for sponsoring today's video. Wix.com, check it out. Check out the Creative Weirdo Spotlight details below in the description. Yep, and remember to stay creative, stay weird, stay you, because why not? We'll see you next time. Love you, bye. Love you, love you, love, love you. you. <laughs>
Take a look and you'll see into your imagination. <laughs> we'll begin, we'll begin with, with a spin, traveling in the world of our creation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're gonna work. We're, we're gonna figure out the. Sorry, buddy. We're still figuring out the lyrics. <laughs>